Good morning guys and welcome to our last day in S1 sadly. We're about to head to the bus station, head to the Red Sea to the coast, say one last goodbye from this incredible view here. So this is the place we've been staying on Elephantine Island. And if you're in the area, I really recommend this place. This isn't sponsored, we paid for our room and everything, but if you want this really peaceful and relaxing place here on the Nile, then this is definitely the place for you. We're gonna go get the ferry across the river and find our way to the bus station and figure out the bus again. Hopefully we can get there within 20 hours. We'll do our best. Salam. Salam. Just walking through these village streets again. A lot of these are made from mud brick. Very impressive. Yo, what's your name? Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. I'm Joe. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, man. Two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. Oh. Can I see the puppy? Hello. Hello. Nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright guys, so made it on the bus. No, we're not on the bus. Alright guys, so made it on the boat. And uh, it costs about two Egyptian pounds to get from here to the other side. I just met those kids on the way here, holding a puppy. I'm not sure why. Alright guys, made it to the other side, found ourselves a taxi. Look how cool it is. But when we were coming over on the boat, the engine stopped working, so the guy had to take apart the engine, pulled out some rope, wrapped it around the engine and restarted it. Six hours later. We're currently sitting on a train. We went to the bus station uh, in a taxi and the bus doesn't leave until like 5 p.m. Uh, it's now 3 p.m. so we had to wait all day. We got up like pretty early, uh, but turns out there's no transport our fault for not researching. So we've just been uh, hanging out in the city of Aswan. Joe managed to find a train ticket, which is super cool because you know we had problems getting train tickets before because they wouldn't sell them to us because we're foreigners. But now we've found a train to Luxor. And then from Luxor, we will get the bus to the Red Sea. Looks like it's gonna be a long travel day. Anyway, super happy to finally make it on, make it on a train. Train travel is my favorite and it's super cool to compare different countries train networks and systems and Egypt is definitely one that I wanted to see so I'm very happy to have finally made it onto a train here in Aswan to Luxor. It'll only be like three hours maybe, three four hours, I'm not sure but uh, nevertheless super cool to experience it so let's see what it has in store for us. guys so it's the next it's the next morning change of plans we got to Luxor last night to the train station which is just behind me and now I'm crossing a road and now we are 
getting a bus at 8 in the morning because they had no buses last night so we just found a hotel and crashed out there for the night but now we have bus tickets it's uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning beautiful day here in Luxor and gonna head to the Red Sea Skills, top rank, point blank, we vital. Spit flow, whip shows, peep the recital. Skills, now, nah, you feel it when we drop those. Hot beats, stop foes, killing shit, we got those. Skills, it's the music that the street loves. Each thug is now repping this with deep love. Alright guys, so arrived in Hurghada for the second time. I was here last year, had a great time. So now we're back. Nice bus journey there, just got a few clips, not too much because you'd already seen the train journey. The landscape's pretty similar, we went through some agriculture through the mountains, pretty cool. And now we have to get a taxi for like 14 kilometers to our accommodation by the Red Sea. So I won't bore you with any more details and uh, let's head to the apartment. Got it? All right guys, so we're in her garden now. Got a nice apartment here and we're gonna be here for a couple of days, but I'm not going to film it. I did film three activities that we did last time I was in Hergada and I'll leave them linked below. But for this particular trip, it's been quite hectic over the last uh, few weeks, uh, as you can see by the previous videos. So I'm just gonna take like a day or so off. We're gonna be diving. I'm not gonna film the diving because I, I filmed it last time and I think sometimes it's important to live in that moment and not always try to document everything. I, don't get me wrong, I love to document things, but sometimes it's important to take a step back and just kind of live in that moment and really value it for what it is in its raw form. And I've just had some epic news to do with something I'm gonna be doing in Cairo. Uh, I'm absolutely blown away by this. So that will be the next video, guys. Heading back to Cairo for a pretty cool opportunity. So stay tuned for the next video guys, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.